Okay, let's have a look at calculating current in transformers. Okay, so we've learned in the first video how to transpose a formula. We've had a look at number of turns. Let's have a look at some current now. Okay, let's read this question. So a single phase transformer is being used to supply an air conditioning system. The transformer is fed from a 230 volts, 50 hertz AC supply and provides an output voltage of 50 volts. Right, so straight away we've got two values, haven't we, there? We've got the voltage primary and the voltage secondary. Brilliant, so we've filled one section. Next bit, if the secondary current is 18 amps and calculate the primary current. So they've told us this secondary current here and they're asking us to figure out this primary current and they've not mentioned anything about number of turns. So let's do what we did last time and let's draw out the formula again and fill out some values so we know what we're working with. So let's draw it out like we're doing. So let's have a look at the voltages first, what we've got. So we've got 230 volts as our primary voltage. They've given us that, that's good. They've given us 50 volts as our secondary voltage. Okay, perfect. Like we said, number of turns, we don't know anything about this at the moment, so we're not interested in that. Okay, we've got a secondary current of 18 amps. And remember, that secondary current is at the top, isn't it, on this side. And they're asking us to figure out that primary current. So they're asking us to figure out what this number is here below. Okay, so let's scroll this down a bit. Let's transpose this formula so we can actually work with this. Now, so we want to know the primary current. We want to know this one here. So we want IP to be the subject of our formula, don't we? And remember from that first video on transposing a formula, when we're figuring out what's below here, the IP, we take what's above, so we take our IS, take our secondary current, and we multiply it by the values that we do know. And we know up here, don't we? We know this full section over here. So that's perfect for us. Let's put that in. But remember, when you're figuring out what's on the bottom of the divisor line, you take what's above and you multiply it by what you know, but you flip these two round, okay? So we're going to end up with voltage secondary over voltage primary. Right. And let's stick some brackets around that so our calculator knows what we want to do. Okay, so let's now punch some values into this and use this formula over here. Now, let's do it. So IP is going to be equal to, we know our secondary current of 18 amps, so it's going to be 18 multiplied by our voltage secondary, which is 50 volts divided by our voltage primary, which is 230 volts. Right, perfect. So once we punch that into our calculator, and it's gonna give us a value of 3.91 amps. So again, this formula works perfect every single time. So just bear that in mind, that first two things to remember are, when you first write this formula out, make sure you put that IS at the top of the divisor line. It's slightly different to the other two sides, okay? And then when you're transposing it, when you're looking for something on the bottom of the divisor line, this applies to all three, by the way, but in this case, we're being asked for this particular one, aren't we? The primary current. So when we're being asked for the primary current, the one below the divisor, we take what's above, which is what we did, our secondary current, and we multiply it by what we do know, which was these two values. Because we did that when we analyzed it, didn't we? We already know these two values now. So we did that, we put our values in and just remembering to flip those two round on this side. And that's gonna give you a nice understanding there. So go back to that first video on transposing the formula and that'll really help you understand this and look at the other example of number of turns and of calculating voltages as well in transformers.